Hello there! Today I've got a video for you combining my two favorite things, books and music. I'm just now realizing that right behind me is a portrait of myself. Seems very conceited, <laughs> but it was a gift from a friend. I'm extra pumped because this video is sponsored by the Blowback Trilogy by Brian Meal. The Blowback Trilogy consists of Blowback 07, this book right here, Blowback 63, which was released a couple weeks ago, and the conclusion to the trilogy is coming out next year. This trilogy follows two twins who have this instrument that their mom left behind. Little did they know, when they play it, their friend Matt, the star quarterback from their football team, disappears and is transported back to 1907, which um, uh, really sucks. So Matt, this football player, has to play himself back to the present to get back home. Should be easy for the star quarterback, right? But in 1907, Matt meets this girl and starts to fall in love. And there it is. In the meantime, the twins, Arky and Iris, are discovering different secrets and trying to figure out how to bring Matt back. And they end up finding out different things about their mother, too, and that she may indeed be trapped in the past. So I will leave more information about this series in the description. Thank you so much to the Blowback Trilogy for sponsoring this video. And for this hat, when the only way forward is back. Hats are so weird for me. I have a giant head. Hey, yo. I'm just gonna wear it this way. So today I'm going to be doing the music and books Tag. This was put together by Jesse the Reader. The questions are super fun. I've got my books here. I've got my guitar. We'll see what happens, right? It's also the middle of the night. My roommate is sleeping. So the first question is your favorite book with a musical element involved. Immediately I'm thinking back to If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I absolutely love that book and such a huge part of it that goes beyond like the big thing in the book is Mia's journey applying to Juilliard and her journey with like falling in love with, with music and the boy and their relationship with music. I still listen sometimes to um, that song from the movie. Breathe deep, breathe clear, know that I'm here. That one, right? I love when books have musical elements in them. And the next question is an album you wish would be adapted into a book. I absolutely love this because I'm constantly thinking of like, especially with conceptual albums, the stories that they tell, and I usually think of it as like turning them into a musical, which I think then could be turned like into a novel story-wise. And the one that I think of, because I absolutely turned it into a story years ago when I was listening to it, is Born This Way by Lady Gaga. That album totally tells a story. It is so cohesive, and I just like imagine it. It would be so dark and liberating, and the characters, oh my god, would be freaking so interesting. But also, most recently, I think Lord's melodrama album would be amazing in musical form. I mean, she writes the liability reprise for us. It's right there. It's right there. So I'd love to see both of those. Oh, that'd be amazing. Why does Mamma Mia not happen more often? The next question is pick a band name using book titles. I was looking at my shelf trying to find my answer to this question and realized that so many books make awesome band names. Like, I have so many ideas. But the one I landed on is probably because it's one of my most recent reads. It's like a little obscure, but I, I love it. It's Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Haha, -ha, by Becky Albertalli. At first I was like, no way. But then I was like, there's Andrew McMahon in the wilderness. There's like long band names, like, like there's Panic at the Disco. You know, things that are weird at first, but then like become normal because they're just always around. And Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, like I could totally see them headlining Lollapalooza. Which leads into the next question. Pick an album title using the name of a book. Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda proudly presents the perks of being a wallflower. Come on. I know it's not like one or two words, but I kind of love that. I don't know if I would personally do it, but I love it. And I miss reading this book. Oh my God. And to complete that train of thought, the next question is pick an album cover using a book cover. And I immediately thought of a very, very bad thing by Jeffrey Self. It's something exploding in his face. It's a face. This could be like the lead singer or the drummer or someone else. I think it's a cool book cover but it would be such an awesome album cover too. And so would Perks of Being a Wallflower, honestly. And the final question I'm going to be answering in honor of Joanne behind me. Put together a band using fictional characters. This really excites me. I know everyone's expecting me to say Percy Jackson, but I'm going to. I would want to see Percy Jackson on drums. Go Percy Jackson. Dante from Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe on the keys, Luna Lovegood rocking the bass guitar, and Will Grayson from Will Grayson, Will Grayson, 
on guitar. You can decide which one. And then if I could also just be in the band, I was a fictional character for a second, thanks to Beth Ravis. It's all I've got. Put me in. So that's all for the music and books tag. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you, Train, for this noise. Again, I will leave more information about the Blowback Trilogy in the description. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you very soon. And goodbye.